Oh, look at the bunnies. Uh, Paya is giving Melly some kisses. Oh, you guys are so sweet. Hey, guys. What's going on? Welcome back to the show. It's Beaker's Lab. The gang is back. You guys know what it is. We got my bunnies, Melly and Pi up there. Are you guys seeing this? They're just like cuddling like the gang is back. Hey, so there's been nothing like finishing on this base recently. And usually that's why I check in. I want, you know, a big upgrade finishing, except when I logged in today, not only was this, you know, on its way to being done, I boosted it. So it's going to be done in like five minutes. But also, look, I'll admit, I'll be the first to admit, I don't know how many walls we have left. I mean, I can see a lot right here. You know, for a while we were like counting every single one and it's it's fun. I love doing that. That's like, you know, days till max, walls till max. I've always loved those countdowns or count ups, whatever. In this case, it's down. <laughs> but either way, before the most recent update, you could click on this. Dude, 7.2 million. We got to get those uh, uh, down in price a little bit. Before the m most recent update, it would say in here, like you can upgrade, you know, 169 more of these walls, right? They took that away because now, now in Clash and like, look, I don't know if this is going to be a good thing or a bad thing. I don't know if this is going to like, make people even want to play anymore <laughs> but you can now do every single wall all the way to max right and so yeah <laughs> they're not easy all right man but if you guys have been around here for a long time you may know you know we, we have a collection of wall rings that i would say rivals anybody's like i don't think anybody has as many wall rings as we do let me show you guys and just in case you don't know like this, this might be a little shocking this might seem a little shocking every christmas since 2018 we've gotten the wall rings in the shop and after a while we just I don't know. We just started saving them. That's 352 wall rings to do a sleeve of max walls. That's 44 max walls. Guys, if you converted that into gold, it'd be 352 million gold. Because each each wall ring substitutes a million gold or a million elixir. Nice. Uh, hang on. Somebody's somebody's at my front door. I'll be right back. Uh, bowlers, we'll see you soon. Okay, okay, but I didn't even answer the question, guys. How many walls do we have left? Uh, let's just look at this right here. What does this look like to you? If you could, it looks like we have more to do than we have done. And I think there's 325 walls total, isn't that, isn't that right? I'm gonna say we got 169 left. What do you guys think? All right, let's see. Oh man, it's even worse than I thought. 188 walls. Hang on though, hang on. Let me do the math because we saw each one of those costs eight wall rings. Multiply that by eight. <laughs> Guys, we got a lot of wall rings, but we don't have 1,500. What's the point of having the world record of wall rings? It can't even do all our walls. I mean, it could do a lot of them, but it can only do half of our walls? All right, it's, just, it's depressing. Uh, real quick, let me just preview this. Guys, we had up to 800 and something, and we spent a couple on the builder base before the update. I wanted to get complete max. And, you know, the walls over there, they're pretty tough, unless you're going to grind all the time. But 770, wild. I kind of wish we could buy seven more. You know, I'm going to say it again. I wish that sell button didn't even exist. The fact that it exists is like being on a tall building and you're like, hmm, what's, that's a big fall. It's like, <laughs> no. Okay, so we lost our boost here. Yeah, okay, it, it just ran out. But if we boost this again... It'll be on in five minutes, right? Five real-time minutes for you guys. So here's what I want to do. I want to fill these camps with bowlers. So we see them change from their previous level to the to the next level. I don't know if they change much. I mean, the, the rock probably changes. Usually it's like, we're going to see. We're going to see. Either way. So look, shades on, shoes off. Get your bunny some snacks. Man, they got snacks, but they're just chilling today. Cool. Let's go. Guys, I'm thinking about getting this goblin cave scenery. I don't... I don't really love the ones that are darker, right? Like Clash is bright, Clash is cartoony. This is none of those things. This is more of like the horror game colors, if I'm being honest. But that does look kind of cool. That does look pretty cool. All right, man, we got code Beacon there. We do. If you guys get anything in the shop, be sure to use somebody's creator code. Helps a ton. Our code is Beak. All right, guys, let's get it. Yo, our queen is getting smoked over there. I mean, good luck, buddy. Um, I was kind of hoping you'd do a little bit better than that. Well, she's got some coverage now. Maybe she'll be okay. All right, let me get a couple super hogs in there. Only one. Oh, it's just, it just died. What? That's weird. That's weird. You don't really see that. No, well, you see it sometimes, but like a scatter shot, run out of ammo, mid, mid attack. 
person. All right, whatever. All right, so I'm going to get in there and try to take out those spell towers before they come back to haunt us and maybe even get... Yes, yes, maybe even get the tunnel itself is what I was going to say. All right, here we go. You got this. You got this, gang. Uh-oh, uh-oh. The warden didn't get in there in time. All right, what a best. Anyway, I'm going to send in... Speaking of warden, I'm going to send in these troops, these uh, hoggos. Hopefully, they'll sync up with the warden. Or the warden will sync with them. Yep, looks like... Yep, we're good. Here we go. Lock and load. Yo, it's so nice to get this far into the base. Halfway into the base, and we have four heal spells. Just heals for days. All right, I'm going to start dropping them right here. Let's go. Man, you can just, like, carpet the entire base. Uh, we'll put one there. I don't, we, need, we don't really need one at the top, but I might. Yeah, I'm putting one up there. Guys, we got three star. Of course we did. I mean, it was a dead base. Admittedly, yeah, it's going to go a lot easier for us. All we got to do now is make sure we get through the base. Yeah, I think we're good. I think we're good. Dude, is that siege still still kicking? Yeah. Maybe you could maybe you could help out uh, you know, with the cleanup, buddy. Yeah? Great. So as we look over the whole thing, it looks like, man, I wish I had any other spell besides this. Like, I don't really need these. If I had some skeleton spells, that would really help right now. Hmm. <laughs> look at these hogs. These super hogs. They're goofy, man. I got to start using them some more. They're, they're fun. They're fun. Last second, three star for the win. I mean, really not for the win. We're, we're doing it for the loot. It's not for the win. But we do need that Dark Elixir, guys, because side project right now, really the only other thing I'm, like, actually devoted to doing, the only re real thing I care about doing right now is the final two defenses on our base, which is, um, hang on, I'll get them. Okay, let me, let me just say this as clear as I possibly can. The only things that I'm motivated to do, the only things that sound fun to me right now are, you know, finishing up these scatter shots, yeah, doing some troops, and these Teslas. Otherwise, like... There's not much. Although, I'm going to add one to that list. Guys, I want to do every one of our heroes at once. And to do that, we, we did the math. We pretty much need... We need full Dark Elixir. And we need an, a Dark Elixir rune. I guess I'm on step one. Let's get that Dark Storage full as we go through today. But ooh, this is going to look cool. Oh, oh, I see them now. All right. You know that, that green, that light green or lime green, it's going to turn purple, right? Yeah, because that's the Tunnel 15 color is purple. Hey, Google, make the lab lights purple. I mean, it's not really this purple. It's like a it's like a magic purple. You know what I mean? Like a dark purple. It's like a more LA Lakers kind of purple. All right. This is actually going to look kind of cool, man. There is so many bowlers in there. I didn't realize that when you put them all together, it looks like there is a like a like a concert that bowlers are att they're like attending something, right? They're in a crowd here. All right. I mean, they kind of are. It's it's their day. It's bowler day. You know what, gang? We're going to switch back after this. Ah, that feels better. It's like, it's very bright, but it feels soothing to my eyes. Like, this is, you know, it's a meme to say this at this point, but like, this feels like my childhood. Like, bright green. That's Clash. All right, let's go. Here we go. man here it is you don't get to see that like if you gem one of the troops you know to the next level you can't see them like this because you're in the window this is the only way you can see them stop it okay i had no idea that they had a now like a magic glowing boulder i truly didn't i did i did not know this when i first saw them change i'm like wait so they just get a like a light blue color like what no dude they're <laughs> they're like radioactive or something see it wouldn't have looked as cool with this background this would it would have been so dark i'm just addicted to this bright green i think that's the problem i'm wearing well it's not that bright but it's green all right so all the way down at the bottom guys i can even zoom in a little bit so we see it even more here it is dude these look so much better like, it's not even a contest. They've never looked this cool. I, I 
Usually the reason I upgrade a troop is like either it has a big upgrade, you know, a big stat increase, or it looks cool. I would have upgraded these probably sooner if I knew they looked this cool. That is all. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm going to keep farming for the Dark Illusion because we need to do those heroes. And we got to do some walls, man. Oh, boy. Okay. Before we go. I didn't realize I had all that. Okay. Now suddenly we can do some walls. Do you guys remember what we had? 189? Oh, uh, was that it? Was that truly it? Um, You guys want to go down to 188? I do think we have builder boost right here. Yeah, let's get that thing. Done. Research done. Builder. Okay. That's going to make them 6.8 million. It's still a bit expensive, but all right. It's fine. Let's do it with elixir because we do have some excess elixir here. Here we go. In three, two, one. 188. How much more did we have in here? Did we have enough to do one more wall? Uh, not, not really. I mean, we can if we want to. We gotta just farm it back up. Um, you know what? What's that gonna leave us at? 17 mil? I'll do one more. I'll do one more. So what's this gonna put us at? 187? Nice. 187, let's get it. All right, guys, so for today, like we said, hope you enjoyed this one. Let us know if you did in the comments below. Be sure to leave two for Lulu, three for Melly, and four for Paya. And we'll see you guys right here next time on the One and Only Beakers Lab. We got to do something dumb. Um, it's either going to be... The, the glowing boulders look really cool. Could we mix hogs and boulders? They don't really go together at all. Could you just make two separate armies and like drop the hogs on one side, drop the, uh, the boulders on the other side with maybe some healers, heal spells? But then you're going to need the heal spells for the hogs. Hmm. I'm going to think about this. I'm going to think about this. Anyway, <laughs> today. we'll see you right here next time on the One and Only Beakers Lab.